Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. I am Zystars, and we are playing Star Salvage. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still in the Cursed Expanse, ready to double tap the at, at that button there. There we go. And uh, let's do a little blong here. So we have something called the Possessed Pegasus, a Possessed Shade, a Ghost Ship, Ghost Ship... Ghost Paladin, Derelict Orbital Station. So, the uh, developer of the mod has informed me that the this area is not fully developed. There's this and that here, a little bit of a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but there's it's not fully fleshed out. So, one thing that I want to make sure that we do is see if we can take a ghost ship down without any problems and. Um, be able to get a little bit of fuel from it. Let's see. I, I like these ones over here because they're not as close together. Oh, let's check. Let's see. Let's turn everything on. And everything is targeting, let's see. The flak, turrets and generators. Turrets and generators. Okay. Okay. We should be able to handle that. Let's see. So we're close to a ghost ship somewhere. Where is it? Okay. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that must have been a, a ghost ship that was like a ways off because we've already identified these ones. Jettison cargo. So there isn't really anything out here yet. It's more dangerous, I guess, because of all of the... Okay. Yeah, we've got the shade. That other one, we had the beholder. So the possessed ships out here are a little more powerful. Which is kind of the big the big deal, um, but it's not like there's there's ghost faction. I don't know anything else. It's just ships, and the planets are are incomplete. You know, as you saw in that last one, the AI is not always set up right. So is it just me, or on the mini map, is that destroyed TRX Intrepid B Polaris colored? When I hit Alt to spin my camera. It turns white. Is that because I'm looking at it? Uh, that's because I'm looking at it. I kind of want to see what this thing is. I would love to get some more some more guns on this ship for shiggles and giggles, but... Yeah. Oh, so... Somebody mentioned, and I, I forget who it was, but somebody mentioned the... Extra blocks and stuff that I have. And yes, I have block limits off... You know, when I set up the game, I set, I set it up with block limits off. Like, that was intentional. Uh, I do that every time I play single player because I am playing single player and not doing anything like, uh, what do you call it? I'm not doing anything remotely related to being, like, a fair game, okay? So, it, it's fully intentional to have block limits off. I did not intend on having two of these. I'm not sure how I spawned it in with two of them. I don't think it's a huge deal, but... It, I mean, the blueprint had two of them on there, and I have two of them now, so... That's just how it is. Um, well, we got... We got a little bit of... I mean, we got some exploratory scrap, which is not the easiest to find. Everything else is just kind of... Meh. Okay. So it was a named wreck. I'm, I'm curious, what is the developer of this mod, what is his motivation behind putting names on some of the wrecks and not others? Because that wreck was completely useless, but it had a name. Oh, ho, ho. hey. This possessed Pegasus has a shield generator and it sees me. Uh, I guess we're going to take on a Pegasus. Let's blow some turrets up, shall we? Ha <laughs> ha! I wonder how well this is going to do. Whoa. What? Missing ammo? Oh, no, there we go. They just weren't loaded. Wow. There it is. It's cord. <laughs> oh. Right? Yeah, it's it's got to be cord. 
Or there's no generators left. Okay, let's do a quick blong. What's around us? Um, those two ghost ships are the closest. Here, can we do that? And aspect is always difficult. It's always tough to tell exactly where you are. Okay, I guess that's probably close enough. Let's see. Okay. All right, that's just one of those. And it's got to be cord because I just ripped that piece off. Ooh, a shield generator. Oh, what's this? Okay. Oh, I'm not connected to anything. Uh, let's hook to the soul siphon. Harvest controller. Let's grab this. Soul Siphon, Harvest Controller, okay, nothing big in there. Nothing impressive there. There's a Tier 2, there's a Shield. Ooh, some Grow Plots. Oh, I never put a, I never put a Core down. Power off. Oh, there's some more. I blew a lot of that up. That is a problem with the method that I took. Holy crap, it's cold. What? Alright, hold on. I'm gonna need my environmental suit out here. The Cursed Expanse is, uh, freezing. Do I have... No, where's my armor locker? There it is. All right, let's go to... Oh. There we go. Um, I've already got one of those on. Where is my personal storage? Here we go. And environmental suit. Now, this is good down to, what, negative 250? So if I throw this on... You cannot use this armor boost. Okay. Um, do I have a thermal? Yeah. That should bring us down far enough. 260. This is only going to get me to negative 260. Okay. I mean, it's better than what I had, which was not which was not quite, but it's not going to keep me very warm. Yeah, negative 270. Giggity, giggity, goo. Oh, yeah. Give me the exploration components. Give me that. Oh, I'm on re... Salvage. Oh, look what I found. Okay. Is what it is. Is that a teleporter? Yeah, it is. Hell yeah, baby. Mini gun. All right. Hey, this is not a bad one. Oh, does it have fuel? I better grab that before something crazy happens. Uh, let's go into the. F What's happening? Why can't I? There we are. Um, let's put it into the cold storage. Yep, that brings us up to fifty-five ectoplasm. Sweet. What else does this place have? Does it have... It's got one of these. And Possessed Pegasus, Pentaxa Tank. Yep, it's got Pentaxa in it for some silly reason. I like it. So I'm sold on it. I don't need the warp. This is just a standard warp drive. Uh, ooh, let's get some medical components. I don't actually think I need those, but... This is a neat little ship, you know? It's pretty cool looking. Ectoplasm saturated fuel tank. Okay. Okay. I like it. I mean, I blew off half of it. <laughs> half the ship is gone, but hey, it's cool. Oh, I wonder if... 
This might be too far. Oh, yeah. Regular thrusters. I didn't take the thrusters down at all. So these ones in the back are all good to go. So we got all the flux coils, the Zascosium alloy. Oh, it's got... It's got the large lift thrusters. Oh, this is a cool uh, way of doing it. That's pretty neat. Does this thing even have weapons? Like, it was coming at me like it was armed, but... I haven't seen weapons yet. Oh, here we go. What are you? A pulse laser. I can make all of these, so there's no reason to not just take it apart. The only thing I don't like taking apart are grow plots, and I'm not even sure why. I mean, it's not like I can't just make grow plots if I wanted to, if I just take them apart. I mean, the smart thing to do is to take them apart, I think. Because I think it's... I think they're, things like grow plots are lighter when you take them apart. And you can use the parts for other things if you need to, you know? So grow plots are pretty cool that way. I mean, I guess everything is, but... Okay, so I got the lift thrust already. Ooh, is that an alien laser? What is, what is? What is you? Salvaged pulse laser turret tier 2. Well, that's neat. Is there another one? I probably killed the other one. There is another one. Oh, yeah. See, I'm getting cold, but I'm not getting cold as fast. Okay, so it had regular directional thrust. Probably like I have on my SV. My little one. The one I fly around, my scout. It's got the extra lift for when I'm on a high G planet. Alright, all right. let me get the rest of these engines. Alright, the next thing we need to hit, I think, I think, is we need to see if we can take a possessed shade. Give one more Blong. Because I've never fought a shade, period. Uh, but this ship is pretty damn powerful, so I would like to see if, if we can take a possessed shade. Now, I know it's going to wreck turrets, but whatever. They're just parts. This ship, I can take on a lot of enemies. A lot of different ones. It's not armored. Or, it's not shielded. That's weird, right? It's tough to see. It, the shade is not a... The shade's kind of like this one, where it's got... Oh my god, seriously? It's cored already? <laughs> so that answer is yes. Unless the shade is the lower tier ship. I th it, it must be. There's no way that was the high tier. What was the high tier Creel? The tier 4 Creel CV. Because this was definitely not it. This is definitely not it. This is not high tier. No, yeah, see, it's got cannons on it. Okay. This was the, uh, this was the, the, the first one. Your starter CV. Which, by the way, if you've never used the Creel ships... The, the lot, they're on the workbench. I forget who makes them, but they are legit ships. Like, they are really cool. This one is nice. So the, the Creel tier, the shade, is, uh, I think it's tier two. It's got a shield, apparently, but it just wasn't on, which is unfortunate, because I, what's happening? Oh, I haven't, uh, oh no. Where's my core? Is it in here? Um. Okay, I need to core it in order to get the pentax out. Anyway, the uh, so the there there's pretty much three starter ships that I used to use. I used to use this one. I used to use the MCRN Pioneer, and then. The Wayfarer. It, it wasn't MCRN. It was something else. But it, it was the Wayf the Wayfarer was the name of it. And they each had their benefits. The This one has more weapons. So it, you know, as a tier 1 ship, you're able to fight back a lot easier, a lot better. The uh, Pioneer was the middle ground. You know, you were able to do a lot of different things with it. It had weapons. It had, um, what do you call it? It had weapons, and it had, um, 
storage. Jesus, where was my brain right there? It had weapons and it had plenty of storage, which is, you know, kind of a big deal. And then the, uh, the Wayfarer had only a small handful of weapons and it had a ton of storage. So you kind of, you kind of go both ways with it, you know? Um, you just kind of pick what you want to do for that playthrough. Because each playthrough, you kind of want to go a different route. At least I did, you know? I never liked doing the same thing twice. I always wanted to do... But like I do with this one, I didn't try to spawn in a CV. You know, I wanted to... Or at least for the longest time. Now, Tier 4, highly complex, 10, 000, 10 million CPU CVs, not something that I, I am ever going to make. Because I'm terrible at making CVs. Now, I know a lot of people say that, but the main reason I'm terrible at making CVs is I don't have the time to dedicate to making CVs. All of you dudes out there that build these highly complex CVs, like, are amazing to me. You know, you guys spend hours of your life doing this so that chumps like me can come in and, and use your product, you know? it's Yeah, it should be in the harvest controller. <laughs> you know, and we can... I will never claim that any of this stuff is mine, because it is definitely not something that I created. But all of you guys that do create these things have my undying respect, because you guys are amazing. And I'm sure none of them are watching my videos, but... Oh, look, it's got a flak turd on it. Nope, what am I doing? Okay, so this one had a couple of them. See, this has got a couple of lasers. Yeah, it had a couple of lasers, lasers to shoot back. I had a couple of flak turrets, which aren't the greatest against capital vessels, but whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you hit manage, and then you go to the Pentaxa tank. I learned this the hard way. Okay, now we'll go to fuel, and it's probably got... So the mod developer, these possessed ships used to not have fuel in them. Uh, not fuel, the, they used to not have the ectoplasm, or at least some of them didn't have the ectoplasm. Because I do remember taking on a couple of possessed ships here and there, and they didn't have ectoplasm in them. And I was super disappointed, because really the whole point of taking on possessed ships and ghost ships is for the ectoplasm. Because ectoplasm fuel is the tits. It is great. Like, it is the whole reason for taking on ghost ships. Otherwise, what are you doing with your life? Alright, well, that's not true. It's... One of the two reasons. The other reason is epic loot containers. Because with this ship that I have now, it's definitely faster to take on these ships to get epic loot containers than it is going through a whole POI, you know? Like, this was quick with these little ships. Damn, I was hoping the shade was the big one. Maybe we'll find the big one. I mean, the beholder's out there. I guess I could take it on. I'd have to go find it again, though. I'm sure it's, you know... Back in the last system, it hasn't gone anywhere, but it's kind of nice to get all these thrusters and stuff. Like, this thing got gutted quick. <clears throat> the cool thing about fuel, though, if you blow up fuel tanks, it doesn't destroy it, uh, any of the fuel. It doesn't destroy the fuel. It just, um, what do you call it? It just destroys that tank, and the fuel immediately shunts to the other tanks. You know, if there's 4,000 fuel in a tank... There's 4,000 fuel, unless there are not enough tanks to hold 4,000 fuel. That's how that, that's kind of how that works. Okay, what do we see? Direct the orbital station, I don't care. Ghost ship, ghost ship, ghost ship. These are just unnamed ghost ships. What do we think in here? Okay, these are just unnamed ghost ships. I thought I saw a paladin. Ooh, yeah, there we go. It's on the other side of the planet. I, uh... The only paladin I know is a CSV. So I'm curious. Let's go see what this paladin is. Oh, sweet mama. I got too close to fucking something. There we go. I got too close to that derelict orbital station. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Camerat class ghost ships showed up. Holy crap. Eight camera class Glago ships? Like, that's an ins- Look at that. Look at that crap. What? Oh, I'm out of range. <laughs> oh, man. 
I was just minding my own business, getting too close to stuff. <laughs> Eight camera class ghost ship. What's that? Oh, it's just an unnamed ghost ship. Holy crap. Are they still over there? Possessed camera. I wonder how long they'll stick around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here. How's this fight going to go? The last one was over pretty quick. Are these ghost ships shielded? It doesn't look like it. So far, I haven't needed my rockets. I don't want to be behind it. That's usually where the the juiciest thingamajiggers are. See, it's tough. It's tough with this coloration scheme. Okay, I mean it's good size. Nope, it's cord. Okay, stop shooting! Damn it. <laughs> okay, I mean that that cord pretty quick. I know the eight camerats would have been a good a good test of my skills, right? <laughs> Eight camera class ships. That's insane. All for a derelict orbital station. I know it popped up and was like, the ship is something is calling in reinforcements. I was like, really? Reinforcements? For little old me? Is there anything around me? There's a five kilometer ghost ship. All right, let's go take a look. That was crazy. Now, is it cord, or did I just blow the generators? I just blew the generators. Oh, no, no. Right there. There we go. Holy shit. What's happening? Well, that's not good. <laughs> go. It says Ghost Paladin on it. So, this is interesting. So, took out the Paladin. Put a core on it. It was spinning uncontrollably. I could not get it to stop. And then... It should still have my core on it, but I reloaded the game. And now it's back to being a ghost paladin? Let's find out. Can I get to it? Nope, it's taken off. Son of a bitch. Yeah, it's definitely not mine, and it's my ship's not shooting at it. I'm not sure what's going on with this one. Is it... What's it look like on the map? It's black. I don't know what that means, but... It's just flying around. It doesn't seem angry at me. Yeah, that's the... I mean, it's not quite as brightly colored, so it kind of looks like it's mine. But it's flying around, like its power turned back on. If I hit F3, and I go around here, and I say Ghost Paladin, Control Panel, oh, power off. It is mine. It was just flying around. Let's see if it stops. Okay, it stopped. So, maybe the thing is that if you log off, the ghost ships will power back on and just start flying around. Which is interesting. Like, the AI takes back over. I'm If I refit it, will it fight for me? <laughs> that would be weird, right? Whoa, whoa, what the hell's happening? What did I do? Oh, there we go. What are you doing, ship? Stop spinning. Oh, I'm in it. Why? I don't understand why it does this. Why is it spinning? Hmm. Can I have... I can have. I can have all sorts of stuff. But I can't. You know what I noticed? It, there's no... Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, but it's moving. 
Or maybe I was moving when it hit me. Oh. Am I just in it now? It is. It's bouncing off of the me. Yeah, and it's pushing me away from my ship, which is no good. I don't need a ghost ship to show up and be buggering me. Okay, there's my ship. Look at this crazy spin, man. Like, what is happening? Can I have the fuel? Ectoplasm. Oh, shoot. Did that just go into my harvest controller? Yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah, did you see how much it looked like was in there? And it, that definitely wasn't that much. Yeah, I can take stuff off like normal. It's just not letting me... It's just not stopping. It's so weird. It's got some good thrusters on it I'd like to get, but... Can I do this? There we go. I'd love to get some of these thrusters, but this thing is just spinning so fast. What happens with my drone? Okay, so the drone goes all the way in. It's got some flak and some rocket turrets on it. If anybody knows how to make this stop, please let me know. That was a mistake. That's spinning even faster now. F what? Why? <laughs> Why are you? Look at that thing go! <laughs> Alright. Whatever. I'm not spending any more time on this. There will be other... There will be other ships, although it does have my core on it, which is kind of annoying. But whatever, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness gracious. That paladin is absolutely batshit. If anybody knows how to make those things stop spinning, please tell me, because, oh god. Alright, so something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. There is an update to Star Salvage coming. And it's going to require a restart. Because there's there's so much to do, there's so much to see, that it's definitely going to need a restart. So, the question that I have for you guys is, where should we go? Which start should we do? I'm thinking, I, if I remember right, he's doing... Something with a new star? I don't I don't remember. But take a look at the at the game because let me know what you think I should do because you know I can do what I want to do or what you know what I feel like that day, but hey, if it's something where somebody in the comments section is like, you should totally do this start. Now I'm not doing the easy or the medium start. So don't don't suggest one of those because the easy and medium starts are Well, they're too easy. It's an alien planet. They're, they're just too easy. This planet is just called I. Whoever is accustomed to learn and change will be swept aside. Plant seeds as stowaways in the chinks of jackboots. Creatures of the duck... What? Travel serves more than war, trade, and leisure. Because the more isolated a place is, the more the, the, more the sooner than the later a humble life reaches that shore. I mean, okay. Y you weirdo. I'm kind of curious if Planet I has anything on it. There's a snow planet. That's that's a regular description. Is this a regular description? Do I just not ever go to snow planets? Zandatan is a cool name. Look at that. Look at that. Man alive. You know, while we're next to it, there's nothing special on here. I see a bunch of drones coming in. There's junkyard defense. Are these set to bases? Um. Yes. Yes. Although we can turn the lasers off for these. Okay. Let's turn off the lasers for now. All right. Uh, let's see if there's anything cool. So we're in the ghost expanse, you know? Is there anything cool in these things here. First step is going to be taking out these things, which shouldn't be that big a deal. 
I'm I'm thinking center mass. Yep, and then there's a second one right here. Oh, the base did call for reinforcements. The base was defeated, all reinforcements retreating. Now that that is something the other one didn't do. It didn't say the base is calling for reinforcements. It just spawned in those Camerat. Which has got to be a know-it-all DM thing. Because he likes to lay traps for people. He thinks it's funny. And, and uh... Okay, these all look like... These all look like the, the ships that I've seen already. Let me get this junk off the screen. Yeah... I don't see anything particularly special out here. What is nice is that these are POIs, so they're, uh... Oh, no, we've got the, uh... We've got the bridge ones. I wonder if they're if they're fully stocked. There's one right here. Let's see if we can zoom in to that. Yeah, there's something in there. All right, let's see if we can't get a little closer. Isn't there a song? There's a song about getting a little closer. Come on, baby. Are you... Oh, you're empty. The drones. The drones. I've just got my flat cannons and my hardpoint cannons shooting drones. So are these the ones with no bridges in them? Apparently it's hard to tell. That one looks like it's got something because it's glowing. I see a glow in there. It's got that glow. No, what? There's a song about that too. There's a movie. The movie about the glow. If you haven't seen the last... What is it? The last... It's not the last dragon. It's got Bruce Leroy. He catches bullets with his teeth. <laughs> and the Shogun of Harlem. Why did that happen? Am I not connected? Oh, I'm not connected because I logged out. I logged out, logged back in. Okay. Tier 3. Not bad. Not bad. Got a couple of bridges. Getting shot at. Getting shot at. Getting shot at. That's not good. <laughs> Stupid drones. At least I think they're drones. Whoa, wow. Uh, let's go here. Let's see. Holy crap. Oh, no. We've attracted some attention. There's a Viper Freighter. Now, let's get out of this. Let's get out of here. I mean, this is a lot of drones. Look at all of this. There's another freighter. Why are these freighters attacking me? How are we looking? It's yeah, those are those are just like cargo ships. Why would you attack a ship like mine with a bunch of cargo ships? They're they're definitely chonkier. You know? And they're splitting my focus. You know what I should do? With these little ships, take them off of turrets. And just focus on generators. Because I've got a better chance of hitting the core this way. Generally. What are we thinking? We thinking these vipers are going down? How are we doing on ammunition? Uh, I mean, we're not bad, but... We're definitely going to need to start thinking about restock soon. Okay, there's that freighter. Where'd that other freighter go? I don't know. That's a little farther away. Huh. 
Maybe I killed it and didn't notice. Oh, there it is. Is it coming towards me? See, that one's not spinning now. So I should be able to get in and take that out. Yeah, he's coming. I think it looks like the core was in the middle. So if I blow a hole down the middle of it, I should be okay. What's the range on these things? 975? Is it coming? Yeah, it's coming. I kind of want to take this thing apart, but... I guess I'm going to have to kill this thing. Otherwise, it's going to sneak up on me. Just add another... I tell you what. You ever wondered how to make space junk? This is how space junk is born, huh? There we got him. Oh, we might as well loot this one first. All right, a couple of... You know, I was curious about the Viper freighters, but I assumed... that eh, it's a freighter. It's not going to be that big a deal. I'm not going to bother with it. But that decision was made for me. Uh, wow, I'm just hitting all sorts of buttons. There's the claim core. Oh, yeah, that other claim core is gone. All right, what do we got here? Okay, good. All right, okay, so you were shooting flat cannons. You were shooting flat cannons at me. No wonder there was no, no fear. Holy crap, this thing's got three million. Oh, the Possessed Viper. Hey, know-it-all, the Possessed Viper's got reclaimed fuel instead of the good stuff. That's what happened with other, the other one in my earlier playthrough, and he's like, meh, I'll fix that. And, you know, he did, but... Oh, what am I doing? Salvage, dummy. I don't need giant... Well, I don't need any large thrusters. That's crazy talk. Are these guns? Holy crap. Did I just see a... Uh... Oh, my ship will open up on it. There's a bunch of rocket launchers. Look at this. The Viper was stacked. That's awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this one has gone a little long. Um, I got a little excited fighting these big old ships with my big old ship. You know? It's uh, good times. Oh. Oh, the shovel head is awfully close. That sucks. All right, I gotta get the hell out of here. That is too close. We're gonna have. Well, we're gonna see what a shovel head is. <laughs> okay, what is a shovel head, and is it dangerous? Um, I don't appear to be shooting at it. It, there we go. Why aren't my other guns shooting at it? It's got some fairly legit shielding. Holy crap. Why aren't the rest of my, my guns shooting? What's that? That's another ghost ship. Things are getting a little hairy. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, it doesn't... Oh. Oh, we're splitting focus. No, god damn it. There needs to be a way. Like, the Imperion gods need to figure out how to make your ship... You need to be able to select a target. A target vessel. You know? Like, we need to be able to select a target vessel. Because the fact that your turrets <clears throat> will turn and shoot another ship, which my turrets aren't shooting anything right now. Okay, something's going haywire. Well, I guess we're done with this. We're gonna Let's head to the planet. Head to planet I. So next episode, ladies and gentlemen, since the uh, AI seems to be on the fritz and it's just straight up not targeting things. Whoops. 
and I know I've got another I've got another CPU out there, but it's just straight up not targeting things. I'm going to just say screw it and time to move on because that's Imperion for you. All right, we're going to turn around. Possessed Viper Freighter. They should remain possessed. It shouldn't be an issue at all. Where did I put... I think it was down here. Was It, it was this one. There we go. And we'll head down to the ship. Yeah, I don't... I don't know why that keeps happening with this playthrough. All of a sudden, my, my ship will just stop shooting things. Like, it's it's maddening. But, you know, we'll deal. And we still need to... Ooh, refuel this thing. We still need to uh, get a bigger ship. Let's see. Stole Typhon. It's here. We got some fuel. We'll drop that in there. We got Pentaxid. Uh, we've got some pentaxid, and then we've got oxygen, fuel, ammo, fridge is empty, cargo box. Okay, we got that. Storage has got extra ammo in it, which we probably won't need, but we might. Oh, I let all that stuff spoil. Oh, those ones aren't spoiled. Soul siphon, cold storage. There we go. I let some of these spoil. I thought I had more of these. Maybe I just didn't bring them. I don't know. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and cut this episode. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for a little bit more content. Leave a comment in the comment section because I do love hearing from you guys. And uh, share it with your buddies because YouTube, you know, that, that algorithm, man, we, we got to... We gotta play to that algorithm, and if if you did think it was good, share it with your buddies, leave a comment, and uh, let's uh, let's get this channel to a thousand, so we can actually do some good member style stuff. Oh, there's not a lot on this planet. Ooh, some colonials. But uh, as always, everyone, have a great rest of your day. And sit down.